The first thing I will say about being cloud and platform aware is that remember that Kubernetes is built on two key principles. One is ephemerance, which means things come in and go out and, and the temporary nature of what we do in Kubernetes is actually a very constant theme around how you use Kubernetes because you don't want to be having compute workloads running there when you don't need it, right? And, and that's what allows you to optimize your applications to work in the cloud. Uh, that's when your bills are lower in the cloud, right? If you just lift it and shift it and not run it in Kubernetes, you won't have that problem. Uh, the second uh, is elasticity. Um, how do you scale when you need to compute different compute levels? And all of that is about, so a lot of what Kubernetes is about getting the most out of your investments in the cloud, uh, most about most out of your investments in your journey to the cloud. Um, so that means you have to be aware of what that cloud offers to you um, and, and being able to work with it. So what benefits do you get by talking to the cloud provider as well as the Kubernetes ecosystem is that one, you get consistency between the two. Um, whenever there are applications that are, uh, uh, there are new clusters coming in, how do you know the new clusters are coming in? Unless you can talk to the EKS or the AKS layer, right? By us talking to the EKS and AKS layer, we're able to kind of see how your environment is evolving and changing every day. And, and in the world of Kubernetes, that change is very common. Um, and, and you don't need a manual effort in, in kind of keeping your catalog, backup catalog, consistent with what you're seeing in the cloud, right? So I think what you first get is being able to synchronize with your environmental changes and being able to be consistent with it. Two, um, everybody in the cloud runs multiple accounts. Um, and, and because they run multiple accounts, there needs to be a way to centralize all of your uh, 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 clusters in one place. Um, both AWS and Azure tells you to say, hey, run different accounts for production and different accounts for development. But what does, how does a user deal with having to back up these different assets across different accounts? And, and I think that's something that we are uh, uh, delivering, that centralized management of uh, uh, applications as well. And the third thing, by being able to understand how a Kubernetes cluster is configured, um, what we are able to do is bring back that cluster the same way. We know how your cluster is configured in AKS. So when you need to restore, when you need to move data from one account to another account or one region to another region, we're able to leverage that metadata that is stored in the EKS and AKS and use that to spin up new clusters. Uh, the alternatives today is the customer has to uh, have a functioning cluster configured uh, with the right network and everything, and then install the agent and then do the restore. So you're already four hours into the process before you do the first byte transfer. Whereas with what we do, you can actually start the restore process within five minutes of starting a restore job because we are automatically creating the cluster. We're automatically injecting our agent and that is automatically starting the restore process to happen. So you are getting recovery and migration through code without having to do a lot of manual work.